In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the Tortuga Bay Cataphracty Terminators, true scale. Check it out. This is Overlord. Hello everyone, welcome back to Warzone Warlock 40k, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm just going to be looking at the new Tortuga Bay True Scale Cataphracti Terminators. I'm doing an Astral Claws army with them um, as part of the Badab War Reenactment Society Facebook group. I fully encourage you to check that group out. It's some of the best hobby skill level you'll ever see. People who are really committed to uh, the historical reenactment that sort of is summed up by the Horus Heresy scene but with sort of eight, uh, ninth edition rules. So I got these models from Tortuga Bay Studio, a fantastic company who produce uh, wonderful th uh, th 3D resin printed versions of uh, different armor types, including uh, Tartarus Terminators, Cataphracti Terminators, and all the classic uh, Mark Space Marine armor, but in that true scale fashion, because one of the gripes that I've always had with um, Heresy Marines is that the scale is just very, very small. And compared to, I know we use them as a bit of a standard now, but Primaris Marines, they are the standard now. And although in the law they are bigger, they're not so much bigger that it looks obscene on the table. So they've produced these miniatures here, as you can see. I've got some Mark III uh, Iron Armour dudes, and I've got some... Um, resin uh, cataphracti terminator so i'll just lift one up and show you what i've done here now as you can see the armor is wonderfully sculpted and it comes with uh, the the ridge piece around the collar is a separate piece so you can put the heads in quite easily it comes with these bulked out shoulder pads they did take a bit of work to be honest to scrape out the underside to then fit with pre-existing arms which i actually bought from a separate company or a separate 3D printer dude on eBay just to get some spare arms but um, as you can see from the bodies they are they are appropriately scaled hulking monstrosities walking tanks if you've seen the opening to that, um, that uh, fan film uh, Death of Hope I think it's called when the Terminators of the Ultramarines are scrolling off against the World Eaters this is the size that they should be heavy walking tanks of men um, leg piece torso shoulders arms and heads all come separately you can buy sets they're doing some sets now which are more sculpted such as the sons of horus just daring very cool i'll just show you this one here these aren't their their arms i've put the arms on separately from like i said another sort of true scale that i found on ebay but they're just tasty um, they, they are sold just as the bodies at the moment, so you do still need to get hold of some of the other kits. As you can see here, this is a, the, the classic uh, plastic arms that you get, so they fit quite nicely. you just got to do a little bit of work on the underside of the shoulder just to trim it out, because it's a lovely, actually quite soft resin, so it's very easy to work with. It's not that brittle resin that you sometimes get. But, uh, the paint scheme I've gone for is very easy to achieve with the um, airbrush and stippling effectively so it's the forge rod sort of battle damage style i'll just show you here this is the the mark three or mark two even i think it is because it hasn't got the extra plates on the shins um again very nice the heads are the just uh horus heresy ones you get from the gw plastic kits it just adds a little bit of beefiness and this, the heads look far more in proportion to the bodies than james games workshops and they said James Workshop then, it's on my mind. Then their own kits. But who knows, with the new Horus Heresy stuff that was a uh, trailer that's been released today, along with the new Sons of Horus Justerian, uh, sorry, Sons of Horus Praetor model, which looks massive. I'll be very interested, interested to see how the new Plastic Horus Heresy scales with these kits, because then it, it just really admits that um, the scale was an, it was an issue. I'll just show you next to a Primaris Marine. Let's line some of these guys up. What I'm talking about. So here's one I made earlier. So there we have a bit of a more better angle so you can see the scale that I'm talking about. So uh, suitably massive Terminators, still stronger and, and taller than the Primaris Marine, but only just, which I think is about right. 
if I just swap that dude there and show you base to base almost the same stance you can see the Primaris is still bigger because he's got that sort of more legs together style but appropriately it's not a massive gap which was always quite jarring like I said before it's always uh, a very obvious um, difference in the ages of how they sculpt but look at that I mean I think that is appropriate considering the um, the law so it still fits in the law but accounts for a modern sculpting style now I'll just bring this one forward as well that's just an old mark IV um, plastic bolter he looks quite thick he's a thick boy he's swollen but the height I think is appropriate Here's another model I want to show you the scale of. So this is a classic Dark Angels Chaos <coughs> Terminator. Um, as you can see, the scale seems way off now. I think the world has moved on. And these chunky boys represent what is truly a Terminator. Um, so again, same base size you can see there. The profile just doesn't measure up. Uh, so Tortuga Bay definitely ahead of the game. So here's an ultramarine I've converted a captain I converted from um, the the new Primaris Chaplin model that you get in this set. Much more appropriate size comparison there because of the stance. So you can see I really like them. I think they're a fantastic product. Tortuga Bay Studios, check them out. They're going for a hell of a time at the moment because they are based in Ukraine. Um, but even as the war rolls on in that country and the horrendous um, reports coming through. They are still keeping their customers informed of what's going on, which is commendable. You know, they don't owe anyone anything. They're going through hell, but they're still keeping active on their social media, on their Instagram and Facebook. So as a show of support, I thoroughly recommend everyone check out Tortuga Bay Studios and be sure to support them in the future. As you can see, it's quality product. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned. If you want some of this awesome terrain and stuff like this and other kits, that's been previously loved. I thoroughly encourage you to check out AA War Games on eBay, which is an affiliate of our sponsor, Triple Helix War Games, who do great deals on and auctions on previously loved Warhammer 40,000 and other wargaming kits. Until then, see you next time.